dietary or food diversity is the number of different foods or food groups consumed over a given reference period. Consumption of a higher number of food items and food groups known as dietary quality results in improved nutritional adequacy of the diet, meeting requirements for energy and all essential nutrients. Poor food diversity results in malnourished, stunted children, prone to illnesses, more likely to complete fewer years of school and have lower productivity as adults, including 10% lower earnings over their lifetime. According to the National Survey of 2010, about 34% of Zimbabweans are stunted. This high figure led the government to launch the Multi-Sectoral Community-Based Model for Stunting Reduction, a program focusing on reducing food and nutrition security challenges in the region. Launched in 2014, the Food and Nutrition Council of Zimbabwe-led initiative was piloted in four districts. Mutasa, Chipinge, Chiredzi, and Mwenezi districts that were prioritized based on the high levels of chronic malnutrition, food insecurity, and population density of children under the age of five, and poverty rates over the last 10 years. The multi-sectoral food and nutrition security cluster seeks to build a prosperous, diverse, and competitive food sector which makes a significant contribution to national development by providing an enabling environment for sustainable economic empowerment and social transformation with close linkages to value addition and beneficiation activities. Siboni Sochigoa is the Food Safety and Nutrition Standards Officer with Food and Nutrition Council of Zimbabwe. A child should consume at least four, that is four or more food groups. Here we are looking at starches, vegetables that are rich in vitamin A. We are looking at fruits and vegetables. We are looking at iron-rich foods. We are looking at animal-rich proteins, plant-based protein, and other food groupings. On top of that, we are looking at the frequency. How often is the child consuming that food? It won't be enough if a child is consuming from the different food groups but once a day. Talking to a mother who is pregnant or who is planning to become pregnant, the issue of their maternal nutrition, what are they consuming so that their body has reserves or is fully, um, is adequate nutrients for it to support the growing fetus at the same time not endangering the mother's health. Concerned about the nutritional deficiencies of most crops being produced, the government of Zimbabwe gazetted laws that make food fortification compulsory. Food fortification is a process where specific micronutrients are added to food during the production line. Foods targeted for fortification include maize meal, cooking oil, and flour. According to the Food and Nutrition Council Director, George Kemble, with increased diversified crop production and increased nutrition awareness, local agriculture markets are expected to increase access to nutritious foods for household consumption. In the rural area, the, the cost of them appreciating that when they do a garden, it should have a variety of crops for their consumption. In a rural area, for people to know that it is not only about maize. If they grow more maize, they should sell. When they sell maize, they should buy different foods so that they improve their balanced diet. We have seen that also there are shortages of certain micronutrients that are critical for human life, for human development, like vitamin A, zinc. And we believe that with the coming in of the fortification strategy, it will aid those fortifications in our maize meal because we have realized majority of our people eat maize meal. They eat salsa. But from a nutrition perspective, it's a weakness because you need to eat a variety of things. Women's participation in agriculture can increase their level of income, which can be used to improve household nutrition. However, without due diligence, women's participation in agriculture can compromise child care, resulting in children becoming malnourished. In an effort to ensure that women aptly and sufficiently feed children, the ministry responsible for agriculture, through its extension officers, has been encouraging rural households to diversify their crop production. As an acknowledgement of the critical role of the agriculture extension officers, they chair and lead the multi-sectoral food and nutrition security committees at all levels. In Chipinga District's Ward 1, Agritech's extension officer, Confidence Siziba, has been aggressively urging farmers to introduce new and diversified crop varieties in the community's nutrition garden. <laughs> Chirongwa 
Saka amazwano, zirikurati za kuti wabereki waku nzuisisanya ye standing. Vanuto tanga kuti kunewa kashita kura. Voto tanga kuto rimama crops akasiana siana. Kutituwa ni manutrins akasiana siana. Kushikirapa wano sununguka, nekukura kwe wana kuya. Pachingo wapafuti chikafu chakasiana siana. Kutituwa kure waini utanu wakanaka. Vanu waku itama visla grupu ya mkando waya. Kutituwa reze marie kutituwa tengo ozimo zikafu zirinani. Sekuti pakutuma proteins hapa, wanu waku kwansa kufia o huku, wachizo wana oma zahai nyama, kuti wana waone kujika kwa, ka, kwa kanaka. A member of the nutrition garden, lactating mother of two, Viola Mutiba, acknowledges the role being played by agriculture extension officers in educating the farmers on the benefits of crop diversity, particularly for pregnant, lactating mothers and children under two years. Mtaoko orupa kuti ye jishu chaku zidisiko first chao plate. Kuti nenge ine mune sadzare dure tino rima kumunda. Ne muri wa wedu toti maveji ne shipisi pasaiti. Kuti ne, ne masai. Kuti nenge jiri okumba. Kuti se chenda ne kuwa na wedu techi ya mwisa kuti wana wedu wa ya ngomu kaka wanungu waka, waka kana usina kuta ukira. Wana wedu chukuru wa shakanaka. Access to food in almost all districts of Zimbabwe is affected by seasonality, with plenty of food during the rainy season and very little food during the dry season. As such, focus is on ensuring increased access to safe, diverse, nutritious foods, both crops and livestock, all year round. This is to be achieved through promoting diversified agricultural production, in field and in micro gardens and integrating small livestock production. Schools in the four pilot districts of the community-based multi-sectoral model to stunting reduction are implementing the school feeding initiatives where they provide at least one meal a day to pupils. As a way of providing balanced meals, they are encouraged to ensure that the gardens from which they get the relish are producing diversified crops. Small livestock have been shown to contribute towards household consumption better than large stock. Gatsi Primary School in Mutasa District is running a small livestock project where they are rearing nine goats and ten bantam chickens. Vangwe chete zvidi zasara is seven. Zimwe tu taka uraya, tika pawa na waga 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 jiga sasa. Imwe yacho tika pawa na waga ngo wina kuma sports is a sort of incentive. Zimbabwe's 